there's anything I know it's that everyone's an expert and everyone in the world that's a Middle East expert knows one thing you can't take over Al-Aqsa that's just not how it works especially if you're an atheist that's for the Muslims well what I'll tell you is I invented the Muslims and the Muslims disrespected me and I tried to get into uh, Dome of the Rock and they told me no so I'm taking the entire Temple Mount as my home and I feel like it was built that way for a reason. So uh, I understand a lot of people are experts and they're sitting around going, uh, I know so much about the Middle East. I know one thing, no one's allowed to take Al-Aqsa. And uh, what I'll tell you is I'll, I'll take anywhere I want. And uh, I, I want Al-Aqsa and that's gonna be my home. And um, what, they, what you have to understand is that uh, to me, I think it's actually more difficult for me to take the Church of Holy Sepulchre than Al-Aqsa because I ain't just taking, taking Al-Aqsa and, and the Dome of the Rock and filling it with gold and all, that, and all that business. I'm also taking the Church of Holy Sepulchre. And so I want to be able to take my woman down the Via de la Rosa from the Dome of the Rock and I want to go take her to the Church of Holy Sepulchre which is my backup sex dungeon and I'm going to have a sex dungeon with, in, the, in that place with, with gold chains and all sorts of all sorts of beautiful gold dark dramatic I, I guess i could put a throne bed in there too but uh, i mean there ain't nothing wrong with having an extra throne bed but maybe we could just have a throne room like have a bedroom i kind of like being on the ground sometimes but uh, the main idea is to have gold chains and, and have have a have a place where you can have all kinds of weird sexual relations um um that's that's kind of a, a holy place because uh, let's face it um that religion's done some things to, 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 to the people that I love. And, you know, I, I can claim to be gay, but no matter how gay I've decided to be, um, I will never know what it's like to be a child that's gay in the Christian church. Um, that's, just, that's just a reality. So um, there's no way in hell that I would ever not take over the Church of Holy Sepulchre. It's kind of hard to explain. I think I think I think the Muslims in the State Department don't really understand that uh, conquering Al-Aqsa and taking it as my home, and then the Dome of the Rock as my sex sex lair, um, is actually about showing everyone that your religion is fucking stupid, and I made it for a reason. It was so that someday I would take over that bitch and be like, hey, guess what? It's mine. Nothing you can do about it. So yeah. Um, I feel like this is a dangerous time to be alive for me specifically. Um, no one really knows that Miley is the person that I, I'm, I'm looking for. Um, but what you do know is that, damn, she is pretty. And she sure seems talented. And uh, she sure seems like someone that um, I think the entire world would love to be around. Uh, even if you're a religious person or an atheist or a transgender person or... Um, someone from any race, you'd want to be around her because she's, she's that type of person. She's the type of person that um, you'd want to be near. All right, so uh, I'm trying to partner with the Chinese to go against the Russians because I figure if I get all of Asia to go against Russia, that's a lot easier war than uh, 3 billion versus five, 4 billion or whatever. I don't even know. I don't know what the math would be. But... Uh, it's a different kind of war. It's a it's a more thought out war. It's a war that's more practical. It's a war that's like well, uh, yeah. I, I, I criticize China for its aggression into like certain territories or, or like the, the the way it takes over certain places like Taiwan. The way it's trying to take over Taiwan. And and if there's anything China knows is that uh, the, that that Dayu Island, whatever you call it, uh, that island was Japan's. They know that. Um, but they, they also need that natural gas. It's like, all right, well, uh, you want some real oil? You want some real natural gas? Well, then you're gonna, gonna have to fight for it. Sure seems like you're not afraid to use violence. Well, uh, why not use violence um, in an incredibly organized manner along with um, other countries that have that many resources? Because I'm telling you, if you have that many people fighting a country at the same time, you can clear out a state and make sure that that state is not a threat to you. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you really want to think about energy safety into the future um, in my opinion you're, you're gonna want to team up with everyone and conquer Russia um, yeah I realize the Russian people are real uncomfortable with that and what I'll tell you is uh, I ain't got any problem with defectors and um, 
there, there's nothing wrong with bringing in uh, talented people into the United States, and if you make it here, then you make it here. And that, that's my opinion on if war breaks out and, and you escape Russia, come to the United States, no one's going to sit there seeking out Rus Russians to kill them. Uh, we're, not, we're not trying to wipe you all out. Uh, we're just basically trying to uh, give the Chinese a little bit more oil, give the Indians a little bit more water, and uh, trying to make the future safe. Because uh, the thing about Vladimir Putin is he's one of those people who thinks he's talking to God, but really he, he's, he's an actual psychopath. Like, you want to talk about, like, the biggest fascist on the entire planet right now? Yeah, yeah, Vladimir Putin. Like, think about it. Think about the way he controls his media. Think about the, the like, like the, the nature of his government. Think about the way he asserts dominance over, over people. Um, think about the way he invaded Crimea. Um, Vladimir, Vladimir Putin's, Putin's a serious problem, and it'll be a lot easier for us once we kill him.